In the ancient land of Bethlehem, during a time of famine, lived a woman named Naomi with her two sons, Malon and Kilian. They belonged to the tribe of Judah, and were among God's chosen people. Tragedy struck when Naomi's husband passed away, leaving her a widow. Despite her sorrow, she did not lose hope in God's providence. She decided to move to Moab with her sons, hoping to find sustenance and security in a foreign land. In the foreign land of Moab, Naomi's sons married Moabite women, Ortha and Ruth. Malin and Chilion found happiness, but their joy was short-lived as they too succumbed to untimely deaths. Naomi was left with her two daughters-in-law, bereft and broken-hearted. She heard that the famine in Bethlehem had ended and the Lord had blessed his people with an abundant harvest. With a renewed hope, Naomi decided to return to her homeland. Naomi lovingly urged her daughters-in-law to return to their families in Moab, where they would have a chance to remarry and find happiness. Orpah reluctantly bid farewell and went back to Moab, but Ruth clung to Naomi, refusing to leave her side. Loose loyalty and devotion touched Naomi's heart, and she allowed Ruth to accompany her back to Bethlehem. Upon their arrival in Bethlehem, the city buzzed with excitement. News of Naomi's return spread, and the townspeople welcomed her with open arms. However, Naomi felt bitter and desolate, believing that the Lord had dealt harshly with her. Ruth, ever faithful, decided to take the responsibility of providing for her and Naomi. She ventured into the fields to glean leftover grains, as was the custom for the poor and foreigners. As luck would have it, Ruth ended up in the fields of Boaz, a wealthy and kind-hearted man from the clan of Elimelech, Naomi's deceased husband. Boaz took notice of Ruth and was impressed by her dedication and humility. He instructed his workers to leave extra grain for her, ensuring she would have an abundant harvest. Ruth was grateful for Boaz's generosity and sought his guidance and protection. Naomi, recognizing Boaz's significance in their lives, encouraged Ruth to appeal to his kindness. Ruth, obedient and brave, approached Boaz while he was sleeping in the fields and asked him to spread his cloak over her, a symbol of seeking his protection, and take it from her as his wife. Boaz was touched by Ruth's request and agreed to be her redeemer, acknowledging her virtue and faithfulness. Boaz and Ruth's union brought joy to Naomi's heart as she witnessed God's providence unfolding before her eyes. Boaz, honorable and just, redeemed Ruth, securing their future and providing them with a home. Ruth soon conceived and bore a son, Obed, who would become the grandfather of King David, an esteemed ancestor of Jesus Christ. The story of Ruth and Boaz teaches us the power of faith, loyalty, and the unexpected ways in which God works in our lives. It is a testimony to the importance of remaining steadfast in the face of adversity and finding hope amidst despair. Through their journey, Ruth and Boaz exemplify the divine plan for salvation, paving the way for the lineage of Jesus, the ultimate Redeemer who brings eternal hope and a call off of the positive salvation to all who believe.